I haven't seen Fusion GPS offices raided. We haven't seen Perkins Coey offices raided. And I think the reason is, is from this special counsel, there is no appetite uh, to go after anybody on that side of the aisle. They're trying to figure out whatever they can uh, involving Donald Trump. And, and that's just wrong. And I think this investigation has really been a fishing expedition. Uh, and that's not the way you want these things done. If there's an identifiable crime, do the investigation, bring someone to justice if need be. But just searching for a crime and seizing a lot of evidence, um, I don't think that that's how we want our system operating. Right, 100%. If there's a crime that's been committed, if Michael Cohen committed a crime, just like when Paul Manafort committed a crime that had nothing to do with Russian collusion, by all means, hold him accountable by the law. That's the reason that we have laws. We are a nation of laws. But do it equally. Do it the same to people that have an R after their name as you do to people who have a D after their name. And we have seen time and time again that this has not been the case. I mean, part of the, the thing that gets me too, besides the fact that it's scary to live in a nation where uh, I guess our federal law enforcement has this much power and abuses it, part of the thing that gets me is it, it's, it's, it's just, it's so crazy to me, the double standards and that Democrats constantly tell us um, they constantly tell us that we're the divisive ones, but everything they're doing is not for the good of the nation. It's just to take the president down. Well, and that's the problem is um, when you're talking about investigations involving a, an elected official like an elected president, um, you know, part of it is just can you string together a case consistent with any statute uh, and make a legal case. A prosecutor is looking to do that in this case. Um, but you've got to do really more than that when you're talking about somebody elected president. I mean, you've got to convince the public that what you're doing has a certain level of legitimacy. And I think one of the problems as to why this Mueller investigation has had trouble being accepted by a large portion of the country is because exactly of the double standard you cited. People were not born yesterday. They lived through the Hillary investigation. They saw them decline to use a grand jury, not execute any search warrants, allow Platte River networks to bleach bit all the emails that were under a congressional subpoena and do nothing about it. People like Cheryl Mills fibbing to the FBI and they do nothing about it. But yet with this Trump case, uh, the attitude is much, much different. And so that's why I think it's really doing damage uh, to the country. And it's really t uh, causing us to take our eye off the ball of some very, very significant issues. Right. And that's where I think we, the people, should hold Democrats accountable. The Democrat, our Democratic representatives, because we sent them to Congress to represent our interests, to keep us safe, make sure the economy's uh, healthy and moving along just how it's supposed to be, not to engage in this kind of swamp politicking. It's absolutely frightening. Congressman, thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate it, sir.